what choice do we have in life? Either to never mature and live without the anxiety of responsibility as a child forever, while we live in a world where nothing is expected of us, or we can grow up, act our age, and become a stressed out adult who fears death, hates immaturity, but looks polished and put together. Faced with the two options, most people would choose to stay a child, which in reality looks less like flying through Neverland with the Lost Boys and more like the early life of Ignatius, the founder of the Jesuits. Peter Pan, who is the product of a child's imagination, envisions adulthood as harsh, cruel, and personified as an elegant pirate. A pirate who must be fought against while the spoils of war are enjoyed without responsibility or consequence. Ignatius, on the other hand, had become the product of his own imagination. The life of a Christian seemed boring and unappealing to him. And so when faced between choosing the life of a mild-mannered Christian and that of a valiant, daring soldier, the choice was clear. Ignatius set off for war in hopes of winning for himself glory and honor, something which the bars and women of Spain couldn't provide him. But even the most adventurous of children must eventually face their own shadow. Like Jacob wrestling in the dark of night at Javik, the child cannot know who they are or really what they want until they overcome it. A cannonball shattered Ignatius' leg and he was left bedridden for weeks with nothing but the life of Christ and the saints to read. There was nowhere left to run. But like Jacob, this encounter is violent and not welcomed. The end result for Jacob is a broken hip, for Pan a broken shoe, and for Ignatius, a new question dawning within his heart. Why couldn't he do great things like Saint Dominic, Saint Francis, and ultimately Christ himself? Peter, who only after he defeats his own shadow, finds his true love in Wendy, and has to let the fairies and mermaids of his imagination be fulfilled in something greater, someone greater. Ignatius has to let his passionate love and desire for honor be fulfilled in something greater, someone greater. The failure of Peter was to believe that his options were to stay a child forever or to become a tyrant. And the failure of Ignatius was to believe his options were to kill his passions as a Christian or to recklessly chase them to the grave. But the truth is found in the middle. The greatest adults are those who have the joy of young children and the wisdom of those much older. And the greatest Christians are those who master and tame their passions so that they can then be unleashed for the glory of God. The glory of God is not man who has been neutered or sterilized. The glory of God is man fully alive.